And if you want shape, you want tone, let's do it. First of all, you'll need a chair for extra support and balance. Let's begin working the hips and the outer thighs. Lift and lower. This is one of the best exercises that target right here. Hit the spot, limit down, that's it. Lift and lower. Now, let me give you a few tips about good posture. The back is straight, the tummy's in. Lift your hand right here. Don't lean into it, don't slouch. It's just there for extra balance. The leg that you're standing on, keep it slightly bent. Don't lock the knee. Lift and lower the leg. Wow, this one really works right here. That's what we're targeting. The outer thighs and the hips, that's it. Hit this spot. It's one of the finest ways to slim down that area. Lose an inch around each thigh if you do this on a regular basis with me. And in six weeks, I promise, you'll see results. Keep going. Good. That's it. Really use the leg up and down. Can you feel it? For those of you that really want a challenging workout, you're more than welcome to wear ankle weights on these exercises. Then you'll really see results quicker. Okay, last one. Hold it up now. Here we go. Hold. Hold. That's it. Good. Feel it. Stretch it. Balance is key on this exercise. Balance yourself. Stomach is in. Back is straight. That's it. You'll have those nice, firm, sexy legs. That's great. Okay, relax. Now, let's work on the inner thighs. Ready? And crossovers. That's an inner thigh action here. This is the area we're targeting right now. Hit this spot, inner thigh. Cross it over. Almost try to touch your chair, and then you'll really feel it in the inner thigh. No more jigglies in there. Come on, we'll firm it all up. Nice and firm. Slim it down. That's it, inner thigh action. This is one of the best exercises that zero in on the inner thigh. That's it. No more inner thighs rubbing together. We'll slim it down through this exercise. Great. Two more. Come on, really feel it. Last one. Good. Okay. Hold it in there. Squeeze, squeeze. Isometric hold. Isometrically holding and release. Now the back of your legs. Let's begin. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. This is a great one for the back of those thighs. No more cottage cheese legs back there. I know, that's where my fat lies too, so we always have to work on these areas. The hips and the thighs are the areas of most women. These are our crucial areas that we really need to zero in on and tone and target and shape. Muscles are the key to changing that shape. No more pair of shapes, we'll firm it up. Last one. Now hold it, now hold it. Isometric hold, squeeze the bun, squeeze the legs. This is a perfect exercise. Hold it, hold it. That's it. This is a great way to shape those legs. Sculpt the thighs. Hold, hold, hold. Okay, and slowly relax. Let's turn the chair to the other side. Now it's time to work on the other leg. Okay, let's begin. Out and in. Out and in. Think about using the outer thighs now. This is a great hip slimmer, I tell people. Slimming those hips. Here are three pointers. Number one, bend the knee that you're standing on. Number two, suck in that gut, pull it in. And number three, don't lift the leg too high and don't lean forward like this. Lean nice and straighten up. That's it. The chair is just there for balance. Using those legs, using the tummy, tone and tighten those bottom half of our body. That's it. This is the quickest way to see results is through certain exercises that are specific and this one's the outer thighs and the hip area. Good. Remember, think about good posture throughout this exercise. Control it through the abs. Everything is the center here. Your abs are the core for good posture. Smile, you're targeting those areas we have most concerns with. One more, then we hold it up. Okay, now hold it up. Hold it up. The knee is facing me. That's it. Hold it. Beautiful. You're doing great. Hold it. Good. Stomach in. Everything skinny. Hold it. Hold it. Okay. Slowly relax. Inner thigh exercise. Ready? Cross. Cross. This burns the inner part of the inner thigh right in there. This is the area. It's hard to target. That's right. Did you know this one the most difficult exercises 
actually a difficult area of the body to really target the inner thigh. It's one of the most underused muscles of the body. Even if you climb stairs or walk, you still don't target those inner thighs. But yes, you do doing this exercise. No more inner thighs rubbing, no more jigglies in there. This is it. Two more. Come on, really feel it. Let's do a couple more. Really give it all you've got. Last one. Now we hold it. Isometric hold. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. All in here. Squeeze, tighten. Focus on that inner thigh right now. Beautiful. Okay, back of your thighs. Here we go. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Make sure right now that your abdominal muscles are pulled in. Squeeze your buttocks. This works on the back of those legs. That's right. One of the quickest ways to reshape your legs is through these certain exercises. They give definition to your thigh. They make you look better. And you look great from behind, too. A couple more. Really use it. Use it. Right back here, I want you to squeeze it as hard as you can. Really squeeze it as you lift it. Really feel it back here. This will give you that nice shape. That's right. Give you those nice tight buns. We got two more. Stomach in, lift it up. We all have to be reminded, even I do, after two babies. Okay, hold it up. Hold it. Balance. Think about balancing. Remember, the leg you're staying on is bent. Did you do it? Good. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Aren't you glad we have that chair there to balance on? <laughs> Okay, and circle the hips. That's it. Circle all the way around. That's it. Oh, boy, you felt it, huh? I did, too, especially those outer thighs. Okay, little leg lifts now. Lift and down. Little lifts. Alternate lead your legs up and down. Lift and lower. Now, here are a few tips. Make sure your back is straight. Very important. Put your tummy in. Tuck it under, pull it in, tighten those abs. The leg is getting nice and toned in the front of your thigh. Two more. One, two, okay, stretch it out. Yes, my favorite part of the whole day, stretching. And it, you know it's the end of the show when you stretch. I still have more tips towards the end of the show, but you know you did it, and that's the most important part of all. That great feeling of self-accomplishment. Oh, stretching feels so good. Hold that stretch. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Let it out. Oh, oh we did it. I'm proud of you. If you did it with me, if you didn't, you should feel guilty. Wake up and do it tomorrow with me. And lift up. Perfect. And now let's stretch the quadriceps. Hold your foot right here, your ankle. Pull your heel towards your buttock and try to balance. That's it. Stomach in. Feel that wonderful stretch in the front of your thigh right here. That's it. Back is straight. Doesn't that feel good? Wonderful feeling to stretch. Some of you might say, Denise, you're crazy. It hurts me. But it's a good hurt. It's a good stretch. Get rid of that tension. Hold. Okay, switch legs. Just pull the other leg up. Pull your heel towards your bun. That's it. Just like that. Pull it up straight up. If you can, balance yourself. That'd be wonderful. Hold it. Pull your heel towards your buttocks. That's it. Don't you feel good about yourself now that you did something? I tell people to get fit. You know why? You are worth it. That's right. Your health is what matters most. You could have all the money in the world, but if you don't have good health, you have nothing. You can't enjoy it. And fitness is a way to better health. Okay, slowly bring it down. I want you to stretch out the hamstrings, the back of your thighs, right back here. This is the area of the body we all need to keep nice and flexible. Let me explain why. Because if your hamstrings are tight, it tugs on your lower back to give you lower back tension. If they're nice and flexible, keeps it nice and straight. It'll help improve that posture. Oh, it feels so good to stretch. Go a little lower. Come on. Come down here. Stretch. 
and lift up and switch legs, the other leg. Try to feel that good stretch back here. You can place your hand on your thighs for support in your back. Hold that stretch. Oh, it feels so good. I love it. Hold it. Stomach in. Don't let it sag. We all have a tendency to just let it fall down. Lift it up. Pull it up. Use those muscles. Okay, take a deep breath. Inhale up. And exhale out. One more deep breath for me, everyone. And let it out. Give yourself a big hand. You did great today. And it's a food tip. Make a habit of including at least one fruit with breakfast, one vegetable at lunch, and at least one vegetable for dinner. So eat healthy, and I'll see you on the next Getting Fit. Bye-bye.